Ariel here and today I'm showing you guys this fall makeup tutorial. A lot of you guys were requesting for some more tutorials so here is a regular makeup tutorial because I'm going to start getting into Halloween makeup tutorials soon. This is like a goldy kind of eye with a nice sharp wing. If you follow me on Instagram you probably have seen this kind of eyeshadow look. Also all the products that I'm using in this video will be featured on an app called Snuffs. Snuffs is basically like you can build shelves and kind of keep track of items you have and you can make it public or private and I've talked about it in a few videos before and I've been using it lately and I love it. I put this stuff from my try on haul and my skincare products and all that stuff and you guys should definitely follow me and check out my shelves. It's a super duper awesome app and I think all of you guys will love it and I'm definitely going to use it as like a major form of social media now. So definitely check out my Snuffs account for the product information and keep on watching. So starting off this tutorial, I'm using my Scandinavia Primer Spray to make sure that my makeup lasts all day. Next, I'm going in with a foundation brush just to spread my foundation all over my face. And then I will take my Beauty Blender and pat this in. I am taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is my favorite concealer at the moment. I'm putting this in a triangle under my eyes and a little bit over on top of my lid so that it cancels out any veins. And now I am going to be taking the new LA Girl Cream Contour Sticks. They also have blushes and highlights, and they are amazing. I've been loving it and trying it out recently. I'm just using this as a foundation for my contour, and this will just create some natural shadows in my skin. And and here I am just buffing that out with a beauty blender. That's all that matters, matters to me. Yeah, baby, it's your love, it's your love. Now I'm taking a setting powder and just setting my face all over to kind of blend everything in and set it in place all day. And now I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm taking Fawn, the middle color, and using this to carve out my cheeks. And then I'll take the color all the way to the left and really deepen up that contour. And I went for a heavy contour look today, so I kept on building. And because I went for a heavy contour, I really wanted it to be crisp, so I decided to bake using this LA Girl Translucent Powder. Powder, although I did miss a few spots and I think I want to invest in a Laura Mercier. Then I just applied some lip balm and I am now moving on to my brows. This is my favorite brow pencil ever is the It Cosmetic um, Universal Brow Powder. It is thebomb.com and then I'm just going to set that with my e.l.f. wet gloss and prime my eyelids for the eyeshadow. For today's look, I'm using the Carly Bybel palette, which I love, I'm obsessed with, I adore, I got it the day it came out, it was insane, but I'm just using this like skin tone kind of color and just putting that all over my lid, and I'm also using some Stilazi shadows, so this shadow is in MS38, and I'm using this as my transition color, it is a little lighter than the other color from the Carly palette that I'm about to use right now, as you can see, and I'm just putting that a little bit under, more focused in my crease and I'm just blend blend blending and then I'm going to take that really dark color and kind of define some more so then I'm taking that color that I first used highlighting my brow bone with it and popping it back on my lid to like redefine that color and of course keep on blending now I'm taking this gold shade which is absolutely stunning but to make the look I decided to use some Stilazi shadows so first I'm using this one in PS 37 and I'm I'm putting this on the outer lid and blending it in with my crease and I think this really added to the look, added some dimension, some glitter of course, and this beautiful, beautiful Slazzy gold shade in PS43 and this is the star of the show. It is going on my inner and center lid and I put it in my inner corner as well and don't forget to blend. It is amazing and I'm taking that Carly Gold shade again and kind of putting that on my lid and then inner corner. So now I'm combining those two crease colors and putting that on my lower lash line. 
Um, lining my waterline and tightline with this Pacifica eyeliner and then using a combination of gel liner and my e.l.f. liquid liner to create a nice sharp wing. And yes, I will be doing a how I do my wing liner in the near future. Here I am putting on a coat of mascara very lightly on the top just for fake lashes and this IT Cosmetics Tightline Mascara. I love using it for my lower lash line when I use false lashes. I am using these number 118 Eyelore lashes today. They are amazing. They're probably my new favorite lashes. I am obsessed with them. I just love the way they look. And of course, finishing off with blush, my LA Girl Beauty Bricks. Love them. Spice and Pinky always. I tried highlighting with the gold shade, but I always had to go back to my e.l.f. highlighter in blush gems and kind of finish off the look. And there you could kind of see it. It's hard with this lighting to really capture everything. And I lined my lips with this LA Girl Lip Pencil Natural and Maybelline's Touch of Spice Lipstick for fall. It's one of my favorite fall colors and that is it for this fall makeup tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed give it a thumbs up and a comment down below and I will see you guys in my next video Bye everyone. Love you